What must I do to inherit eternal life? It is a pertinent question put to Jesus by the lawyer, at least on the surface of things, not an easy question to answer. Indeed, the gospel tells us it was put to Jesus precisely for the purpose of disconcerting him. As a student of the Torah, the Jewish books of law, the lawyer would have been aware that there are some 613 distinct commandments even within these books. Each in some sense contribute to allowing humanity to understand and respond to the saving will of God. Jesus simply points the lawyer back to the law, asking, what do you read there? The response of the lawyer is, to his credit, spot on. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and your neighbor as yourself. The very purpose of the law is to expand the heart, opening it to the love of God and to the love of neighbor. Love is the end point of the law and its perfect summary. Having answered his own question so well, the lawyer, to justify himself, asks another. In Jesus' response to the famous parable of the Good Samaritan, we see just how expansionary Jesus' own vision of love is. Our neighbor is the one who needs our help, regardless of ethnicity, religion, gender, or any other tribal marks that might separate us. In hearing this gospel, I can't help but think of the many who are marginalized and ignored by our society. The refugee, the homeless person, those who are challenged by mental illness, or simply those who don't fit in. Pope Francis has often called upon the church to be more inclusive. In doing so, he echoes Jesus' own call to truly love God and to put that love into concrete expression by loving our neighbor, whoever they may be.